welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Baba, and I'm doing a Theros Swiss Draft. And our pool is about to fill up any minute now, and we'll get this draft going. Um, I've been doing pretty well in Theros. Uh, my worst draft was the last one. Um, and I'm at 1 2, which is not great. But we are going to come back from a 1-2, and we are going to do better. But not with these cards. Um, I am on a different machines. So I'll make these as big as I can, but it's not going to be as big as they normally are. Um, so we have Magma Jet here, which is probably the best pick. Change the rock immediately wants you to be in two colors. Cutthroat Maneuvers. A really good card. But I think Magma Jet's better. Um, there's also Sea God's Revenge. Return up to three target creatures your opponent controls for their owner's hands. Kind of the ultimate tempo card there. Um, there's also Griptide and Spark Jolt. Not much else going on here, but I think the Magma Jet's a good pick for us. Um, keeps us pretty open and it's just a good card so we'll take it and we will be happy hmm okay so someone took the rare do we take the other piece of red removal do we take the white removal there's also the Eidolon which is really good Minotaur, Skull Cleaver, um, Erebos Emissary, Mnemonic Wall, Rage of Perforos. You know who I really like? I really like that Hopeful Eidolon. I really do, but if we're in white, we should probably take the removal. Ooh, tough choices. This is kind of a giant piece of removal. Alright, let's take... Let's take the Wee Lifelink guy. I like him. I'm not in love with any of these other cards. Maybe I should be. Um, but red white's a thing. Could be pretty good. We're going to try and stay pretty open though here. And see what comes up. Insatiable Harpy. Nylea's Emissary. This guy. 3-3 three, three and Trample. Flashman, Wild Celebrants, Savage Surge. Um, I think Nylea's Emissary is by far the best card here. I don't like, I don't love any of the other ones. Um, that guy can be okay. Insatiable Harpy can be okay. But we'll go ahead and we'll grab the Emissary here. The Titan of Eternal Flame. Oh, this guy's good giant red dude he makes humans good seems good to me he is uh, on the team century of the underworld ill-tempered cyclops all right the question is um, big dudes or flying dudes big dudes or flying dudes big dudes or flying dudes Wingsteed Rider is really good. I mean, he does give us some flying. Ill-tempered Cyclops is also really good. He becomes a six-six Trampler. Spirit Point Oread, Spirit Point Oread, is also good. We might get some red to come around. Um, we're pretty solidly in red. Now this guy is a human for the Titan. All right, comes right down to it. We'll take him. Chronicler of Heroes. If we're in three colors, these are the three we're in, right? Hmm. There's Dragon Mantle last back. Opaline Unicorn. If we're in three colors, that guy's handy. Okay. Let's get the easy fixer then. Scholar of 
we will take the other hopeful idol on. It'll take him all day. Decorated Griffin's pretty good. Um, and I like him better than any of the other stuff here. Black seems pretty open. Cavern lamp head. Right there. Don't love the snare caster. Don't particularly love the rambler. Uh, we'll take the flyer. And we'll take the other flyer. Hmm. All right. Looking pretty darn white red. We could conceivably end up in mono white if we keep picking all this white stuff. We'll see, we could get some good uh, devotion to white cards and that could be a way to go. All right, we're not seeing anything now that hasn't, we haven't already seen at some point. I like the double hopeful, especially stacking that on a flyer. Makes me feel pretty good. Putting it on a wing seed griffin makes me pretty darn happy. Um, I don't know the power of him. He's a spirit. Are they all spirits? Nope, he's a cat. Hmm. Alrighty then. Lots of creatures. It's hard to remember sometimes that these enchantments are creatures. And our first pick, Magma Jet. All right, so it's the Cetessen Griffin, um, the Feral Invocation, the Chosen by Heliod. Hmm. I like this invocation quite a bit. And I like the idea of playing three colors here. So I think we'll take this. I think we can get away with three colors pretty easily. <clears throat> I think we just stick with our big flyers. Um, God's Willing is a great card. Actually, really handy little trick. Even with the scrying, ill tempered Cyclops came all the way around. This is a really good card. Um, it tells me red's pretty open. It wasn't a deep red pool. Um, and even the traveling philosopher that late tells me white's open. Because he's, you know, if someone's in white in those last picks, he is a bear. Um, so there's Master of Waves. Um, here's the Phalanx Leader, who is better than the rest of these fools. Wingseed Rider is close, but I like that Phalanx Leader a lot. Is Master of Waves worth anything? I don't think so. Oh, he is worth quite a bit. Okay. Heh. <laughs> Master of Waves it is for the money. Passing some really good white cards. Um, he's a mythic. He's worth $7. So he's on the team for the value. These are colors we're not in. There's a lightning strike that came. Also a spear point oread, but we're just going to grab the uh, no voyaging satyr. It's not bad. And we're just going to grab the Lightning Strike. <clears throat> wow. Okay. He's pretty good. He makes a lot of tokens, right? A bunch of 2-1 uh, elementals. And he's got protection from red. It must be pretty good. <clears throat> um... Yeah. 
Crusade, Griptide, Peak Eruption. Whatever. Priest of Eurois. Something good here. I'm obviously having some connection issues. Um, there's good blue cards. We really don't want to be in blue. Uh, seems like good, there's good black cards going around. Priest of Eroes is a perfectly fine card, though. That connection seems okay. There is Daxos of Melitus coming around. It could be four color. Um, but we don't want him. We want Dauntless Onslaught. And really, we want that quite a lot. It's a good card. Um, more than anything else, including more than Daxos, so that means blue's wide open, and white blue's wide open. Um, and we can certainly ditch green and take this guy. I don't think Daxos is particularly worth anything. Yeah. It's a pretty good card, um, but I think we'll just stick with our heroic theme here. I'll grab this. Alright, so there's a big giant. There's an ill-tempered cyclops. So this guy gets monstrous and nothing can block. He gets monstrous for eight. Um, this guy's just a little bit easier to cast. I just wins when he goes monstrous though. So five four for five. Hmm. All right, let's take the, uh, the Cyclops came around really late last time. Let's see if we can get him again. It's possible. Look at blue is so open. It's weird. <clears throat> um. Blue, black are really the cards to pick here, huh? I guess as far as Warden is pretty good. There's the Evangel of Heliod. I think I just have to take this, um, even over the Divine Verdict and the Minotaur. I've seen this just do crazy things. Um, especially with the oh, the failing leader, which we didn't take, and we're probably not going to see come back. But I'm still going to take him because I want to do big things with that guy and with this Wingsteed Rider and with another God's Willing and with. The Scholar of Athreos, uh, Fade into Antiquity for the sideboard, Traveling Philosopher, Last Breath, <clears throat> yeah. All right, it looks like we're not going to be in green. is fine. Probably means these griffins are gone. We'll leave those there for now. <clears throat> we don't have anything that really makes me want to have to be in green. It's too bad we let some good white cards go. Um, even that divine verdict for the evangel. Of course we didn't get the phalanx leader and he didn't come back around. So maybe I should have taken the Divine Verdict. But this guy is still pretty good um, with all this white mana we have here. Anax and Symede are really good, and they're in our colors. What else do we have here? We've got two enchantment creatures. I like them both. Don't like the Battle Priest. Do you like the Amulet? Um, but yeah. Pretty easy pick here. I wonder 
I'm not there anymore. Can you nope. But they're uh, totally solid. <clears throat> Ooh. There's a cavalry Pegasus and a Rage of Perforos. I think we actually have quite a few humans. Uh, making the Cavalry Pegasus a pretty good bet in this deck. Yeah. I think Heliod's Emissary. Ooh, or we have Coordinated Assault. Right in our colors. There's also a Magma Jet. Alright, we've got two... We just have to take the magma jet. Seems really good. All right, we got to take the magma jet, and we have to take the lightning strike. I think. Favorite hot plate: wing steed rider, lightning strike. Having a good amount of removal seems like it's exactly what we want to do, though. All right, now we're going to get crap, bunches of crap all over the place. Someone else is playing white, we'll take Glare of Heresy. Yeah. Alright, Perforos Emissary is good. Ooh. Is it a Crow and a Hot Plate? It's okay, I think it's a Spear Point Oriad though. As many enchantment bestow creatures as we can get. I'm going to lose some of these cards. Double lightning strike, double magma jet. <clears throat> we give up some really good cards to get those pieces of burn, so hopefully that's worth it. Um, we're not playing Scholar, we're not playing Unicorn. <clears throat> Probably not playing Last Breath. We can play the Bears. Plenty of white mana symbols to Evangel on our way, though. Certainly worse without the Phalanx Leader that we gave up. So, late Horizon Chimera. Um, we're not playing Boulder Fall. We don't want another Warden. We either take the Celebrants in case I have some sort of artifact I want to destroy. I think we'll do that. Dragon Mantle. Battle Priest, Traveler's Amulet. <clears throat> we'll take the Dragon Mantle, the Cantrips. Um, another Last Breath, just in case we need more removal. We've already got a playable deck here. It would be nice to get some more stuff. The ill-tempered Cyclops didn't come back around again. That's okay. I 
we did get the coordinated assault to come around. That's pretty good for our deck. We either get rid of March of the Returned or Boon of Erebos, I think. Take away the trick. And the artisan is not great. In order to defend the hearth and forest. All right, got a little, it's a little weak there at the end, but we still got plenty of playable cards. don't have a lot of heroic. Yeah. Don't love the dragon mantle or the priest. God's willing, I don't want assault. Pegasus. Philosophers are fine. Lightning strike. Magma jet. Onslaught. Wingsteed. Oriat. Enex. Mm. Faro's Warden. Just give you a lot of 1 1 white tokens. It only really goes with Anax and Siamine. Ill-tempered Cyclops, Emissary, Griffin, oh. yeah. I feel like he's okay. White Soldier Tokens. and Siamede are really hard to get rid of. Yeah, I think I just take out Faro's Warden. I keep it like this. So pretty good curve at the beginning. Gets kind of clunky there at the end. All this monstrous and stuff, I'm tempted to kind of run 18 land, but I think we're pretty good most of our deck being right here with 17 land. So let's run 8 and 9. Oh. Yeah, seems good. Okay.